if it's caught somewhere totally different, like in Mexico, we'll know that it got to Mexico. And um, if, we, if it's caught in five years, we know it lived five years. And if it's caught back here again next year, we know it went all the way to somewhere far to the south and showed what's called site fidelity and came back here. Um, those are the typical kinds of things that you can tell. So the old, do they all migrate? Mm -hmm. Yep, they got a, they have, there's a, we've had a few rufous hummingbirds spend the winter in Kentucky successfully, but typically it gets too cold and um, they just can't make it. So that's what migration's all about. They've evolved the ability to do that. Is it true that they migrate on the back of the geese? No, uh, the geese don't go to Mexico. Oh, they should go to Mexico. The geese stick around. The yeah, the geese only go south of here. Yeah, I know. They stick That's here. a fallacy in that story. Yeah. Oh, oh you just ruined my life. <laughs> this one's going to whine a little bit. Let me see if this is... Um, yeah, now see this? This is a young male. You might think this is a female, but this is a young male. And he has one tiny little red throat, red feather in the low part of his throat there. So he's a young male that's just hatched this year. No, you can see And um, you can see the one little red feather, rather than red, but um, in the bottom of his throat there. He's very stiff. Yeah, you see the, it, this, this bird has white, rounded, totally unlike the adult male that we were looking at the last bird we did. We may not catch another adult male because usually it's mostly young birds this time of year. Now this is um, the toes out of some pantyhose, <laughs> which help immobilize the bird. It won't get away from me and it won't hurt itself. It should, being a young bird, chances are very, very slim that it's already got a band on it. But um, just check both legs to make sure. I don't want to put a second band on. And it doesn't. How and where did you learn to do all this? We trained with a man by the name of Bob Sargent. Who um, founded this group, the Hummerbird Study Group. There's some brochures over here. And um, he's kind of the dean of uh, uh, hummingbirds in the eastern U.S. And he's trained lots of folks to do this. Just want to make sure I got the band on properly. Now I'm going to take a few measurements on this bird. This a band tell people that he's from Kentucky? This bird will, will always be called C97023. And if anybody catches them and reads this band again, they'll turn that recapture data into the U.S. Geological Survey, who keeps a database of all these. And somebody will get realize and know that we caught it and banded it today in Oldham County. <laughs> I'm measuring the length of the wing, which is going to be longer than the other birds, we, the, young, the adult males we did. <coughs> the adult males just have a have shorter wings. Shorter uh, than who? Than the uh, adult females and the young birds. Typically, the measurements we take um, help us tell the different species apart. These young, for example, can look really similar to one another. And uh, measurements can help me tell that it's not something else, although the chances of getting something else are quite slim. And the combination of the length of the wing and the length of the bill are two that are really helpful. I'm looking at 
Shepherd's bill. Have um, bills that are not fully uh, expanded yet, and they have little crinkles in them that also help confirm that it's a young bird. Now, if you could get back from the table here, I need the table to be real still for a second while I'll weigh this bird. <laughs> Would you like to let this one go? So I'm going to bring this bird out in the sun and let everybody try to get a picture of it that wants to, and then we'll let it go. Okay? 3.1 grams. So these, the first one was 3.9. A bird is pretty ready to go. 2.8 and 3.1. Just uh, stay fairly close to me here, and I'm going to show up to everybody and we'll let it go. It's a month old. I'm going to go out here. I don't want the bird to fly up in the tent. what tells us that next year it will have a full red throat. Sometimes they don't realize that I've let them go, and they'll sit there for oh, just a second. Oh, my gosh. He's a little bigger than you think. Now, he's, gonna, he's just going to go all at once, so don't let it scare you when he does. He'll go up. His eyes are blinking. 